So whose fault is it? So whose fault is it when you go to these restaurants and you pick up an order and not everything's there? I, just, I wanna know y'all's opinion and thoughts on this. Is it DoorDash or Uber Eats or whoever? Is it their fault? Is it the driver's fault? In some cases it might be. But in the majority of the cases, I think it's the restaurant themselves fault. And all these refunds and all that and missed items out of the bag that DoorDash and others are having to refund. But I think all these missing items, holy smokers, 1925 go to Owl Park. That's 13. Personally, in most cases, it's the restaurant's fault. I don't think the driver should be held responsible, which, generally speaking, we're not. You know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you could get a contract violation or something. I haven't had one, so I'm not sure how that works on DoorDash. Well, I'll tell you what, speaking of DoorDash, they, I got scheduled and Man, it's awful. Three fifty for Taco Bell. That last one was uh, nineteen dollars, but it was also fourteen miles. But I don't think it's DoorDash's fault either if the items are missing. So why is DoorDash having to give the customer a refund? Does DoorDash get a refund from the restaurant? Seven fifty for five and a half miles. DoorDash is definitely busy. I've just dropped 9% <laughs> acceptance rate. Oh, my, my. You know what? I'm not doing with him anymore. In Dash. I was only scheduled for another 20 minutes anyway. But, as I was saying, I think it should be on the restaurant. I don't think... Now I'm getting an Uber Eats, really? I hadn't had one in the last hour or so. Cosmic Wings. No, I don't like that area to deliver it at. That's another thing, safety at night. You need to really think about where you're going. Um, lost my train of thought. But seriously, the restaurant ought to be held liable if the items are missing or wrong, it's not the driver's fault. It's not DoorDash's fault. It's the restaurant's fault. Now, somewhere I heard that DoorDash is beginning to penalize McDonald's for wait time, which luckily the McDonald's that I generally go to is very little wait time, if any. And the other McDonald's here in Wichita Falls, not so much. They're not, uh, they're not too quick. But they're having to take some responsibility. Don't hit items ready to be picked up. I don't, I, I really don't know. I would have to ask somebody that works at a restaurant, but I don't know who determines when the item is ready to be picked up. I don't know if the restaurant automatically just does that or if DoorDash automatically does that. I know with Grubhub, you might receive an order and then it may be about five more minutes and then you'll get a notification that the restaurant has confirmed receiving that order and if it has accepted that order. Now, I don't know how the system works and I don't pretend to, but I think that DoorDash ought to not just DoorDash, but Uber Eats and the rest of them, ought to go after these restaurants for not getting the customer's order right. Because that makes it look bad on the driver. That makes it look bad on the app, whether it's DoorDash or Uber Eats or whatever. 
and the restaurant's like, they're one out of a thousand that day. It ain't no big deal with them. But it can make a difference whether we get a tip or not. Would you want to uh, tip somebody that brings you the order that's half there? And if it's an order that you can clearly see items are missing, fine. But I personally, and some other people may feel differently, I personally don't think we should be digging through somebody's moving their french fries and moving their Mac. Well, I won't say Big Mac because McDonald's sells their uh, bags, but uh, like Wendy's. You can't, you know, you don't want to move their fries because you're touching their fries. There's not hardly a way to pick up that little container without touching a fry. And then looking under there to see if the rest of the order's there. We shouldn't be doing that. Filling drinks is a different thing. I know they've been a little controversy on that lately, but I don't have a problem filling somebody's drink. It doesn't bother me one bit. But digging through somebody's sack of food, I don't really think that that's good. And, you know, some places like um, Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, um, and some of your regular restaurants on the border, Red Lobster, well, I don't, Red Lobster doesn't sell the bag either. But uh, some of these restaurants sell the bag. Uh, uh, Hooters, they sell the bag. Now, how are you going to check those? So it's definitely not on you there. But either way, you shouldn't be digging through a bag to see if all the food's there. So it needs to fall back on the restaurant. I think the restaurant ought to start paying a penalty and being held responsible for that. I don't think it should be held against DoorDash. I don't blame DoorDash. If I, if I ordered something and it came in wrong, I'm not going to blame DoorDash and I'm not going to blame that driver. I'm going to blame the restaurant. So what are y'all thought on it? Y'all have an opinion on it? I'm just curious. I'm fixing to head to the house. It's dark 30 out here, and as you saw, DoorDash is trash, as usual around here. Some people are making a good living off DoorDash, so kudos to you if you are. It certainly isn't like that for me in this area. Maybe my 9% rating has something to do with that. I don't know. Anyway, y'all keep smiling, dashing, dancing, prancing, doing whatever it is you want to do. Just make sure you keep doing something because you're going to grow old if you don't. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye for now.